Oh, I just realized that it's like really dusty. I don't know if you can tell, but I've never used this shit, even though it's like 60, 70% used. I've never used it, believe it or not. <laughs> So you know what that smells like? Picture yourself being at the beach. You can hear the waves, you can smell the fresh water of the sea, the sand, you can smell everything and it just smells fresh, it smells relaxing, and then you take another sniff. Is that coconut that I'm smelling? Or is it watermelon? So you take another sniff because it's so good, and you're like, ooh, that is good! Fuck! So you finally open your eyes to see if it's coconut or watermelon and you realize that it's your shit. You're on your toilet taking a shit and you're liking the smell of your own shit. Yeah, it happens to the best of us. Don't worry about it. Nothing to be embarrassed. We've all had that one shit that we're like, dude, I need another sniff of this shit. No, like literally. So TikTok recommended me this dude called Jeremy Fragrance. I have no idea who he is, so I googled him. And he is the leading fragrance influencer with 1.1 million subscribers on his main YouTube channel. And I'm like, how have I not known about this dude before? I am like a fragrance reviewer. I'm like the top fragrance reviewer on YouTube. I always review this shit, right? You know me. So let's see if his fragrance lives up to my standards, because I have high standards. And the last one I don't talk so Ooh, much about okay. is Perry Alice 360 Red. I love it, man. It's the dildo of the fragrance industry. I was just gonna say it kind of looks like a dildo. <laughs> Wait, so can you use it as a perfume and as a dildo? I'm, I'm asking for a friend. And yeah, it's not so okay. funny actually. Still Why? don't know how to talk about the topic of masturbating. <laughs> difficult man I, I do it but I don't come and you know it's, it's just like a, if I can be that honest but <laughs> it's simply to boost my power type of vibe all right ultimately of course I want to have a girlfriend and wife oh. turning that girlfriend into a wife and have great kids so oh. that's Perry Alice 360 red that was like the most honest review I've ever seen. So he masturbates, but he doesn't come, but he do he does it as a power thing. Not that he's not that he's enjoying it. And then at the end, he doesn't just want a girlfriend. He wants a girlfriend that can turn into a wife. Wow, is that what the Perry Ellis 360 Red is offering? A fragrance that can also be used as a dildo, can please your sexual desires and can get you a wife? Shit, where can I get this? Oh, but like asking for a friend. How did we get here though? How did we start talking about his fragrance to him saying that he has trouble coming? He does it as a power thing to feel powerful and then he's looking for a girlfriend and a... This one is called Power Baby. Is the fragrance called Power Baby or... Okay. Power Baby! Man, that's beastly. Beastly? <laughs> now I understand why he doesn't come. If that fragrance smells that good, is masturbating even an option? The dude busted three nuts when he was sniffing that shit. Man, I wanna, I wanna, I'm not gonna say have sex with all of you girls. But I want to have like, high five to all of you guys. So he doesn't want to have sex with all his girl viewers, but he wants to high five them? Just go! Larry! Larry, you can't just- Oh, Larry! Oh, are you alright? How did you- Larry! You can't tell me that this dude isn't drugging his fragrances. Because every time I hear him say something, he's, he always sounds high. What is he putting in these fucking fragrances? And I love this, baby. I just jerked off a little bit. Not to oh. the sense that I came, but it gives me a certain type of a strength. Is that the name of the fragrance? I just jerked off, but not in the sense that I came? Usually you're expecting these reviews to be like... So for my next fragrance, we have Aqua D. Parma Colonia. 
It's that Italian mixed with French type of thing. And as soon as you open it, you smell the pizza from Italy and the Eiffel Tower from France because it's a collab fragrance. Yes, we got the smell of an Italian pizza from this chef that we found in Italy and we scraped some of Eiffel Tower's metal and we combine them and we have this fragrance right here. And then the Jeremy reviews are like, so this is the Aqua di Parmesan. It actually smells like uh, I jerked off about three times. And then I realized that my grandmother was watching me while I jerked off. So I felt really bad. But then she asked to join me. And I'm like, oh, okay, I jerked off like three times. So the fourth one is going to be a little harder. But I mean, I mean, sure, we can fucking try it. I've never tried it with a grandma before, especially my own grandma. So I tried it for the fourth time and it worked. So my grandma was like, since the fourth time worked, how about we try the fifth one? And come to my surprise, it worked again. So the secret to me not coming this entire time was that I had to use my own grandma. Yeah, this is basically the smell that I'm getting from this. And the night, I want to tongue kiss a sexy woman right now. Ooh, okay. Oh man! Damn, he's horny. Oh, this is so sexy. Oh my god. Ah. Why do I have a feeling that he doesn't jerk off watching porn? He jerks off sniffing his own shit here. Oh fuck, this too fragrant. Give me the Italian one. Oh yeah. Now let me sniff the German one. Oh. But you know what? I'm not here to judge. If someone's gonna bust a nut sniffing his own fragrances, who am I to judge? You know, we've all watched some weird shit once in a while. Or let's have sex, or I don't know, like... And you know what I just did five minutes ago? Jerked off? I stimulated my penis. Oh! Not that I came, but I was on my Instagram, I was chatting with girls, and dum blah. I, I love the information. And don't worry about it, Jeremy. We all know that you don't jerk off watching girls we dude we see it we know who you jerk off to my body doesn't react to the high sugar content in apples but it totally gets away it reacts to the fragrances the sugar content of raspberries because raspberries just have five grams of sugar on 100 grams and five grams of fiber and the apple has 15 grams of sugar and just two grams of fiber and they make why do the apples always make I wanted to know where he was going with that and how does he know all that information? How do we go from him talking about his fragrances to him saying that apples have 2% sugar, 3% protein and 20 calories fat? What are you putting in here? Now I want to try one of these. Are they expensive? Can I buy one? If I'm going to get horny sniffing one of these shits, I'll take five, maybe 10. But these are for a friend though, not for me. That's just so weird. I would never jerk off smelling something. That's so weird. Power baby. Whoa. He just busted. He just busted. <laughs> it smells good, man. <laughs> he busted. Uh, take a Latina next to me right now. She will smell it. She will say, Ooh, I love it. So fresh. What is that? What the fuck is that? Oh, this is literally my favorite smell. What is it? You know what this is? It's ghee. What the fuck is ghee? I feel like all of these videos are him coming out to us that he's not heterosexual. This dude is fragrance sexual. If he comes out today saying, hey, so I'm not heterosexual, I'm actually attracted to my own fragrances and I jerk off to them, they really turn me on, and the whole internet would be like, oh, don't worry about it, Jeremy. We've known about this since you actually started this company because we can tell how horny you get when you sniff them. So like, no surprise here. We support it. It's not the weirdest thing in the world. It's still legal. I mean, I don't know if you're gonna put your penis like inside the container, but like, if you do it, do it at your own risk. I believe that's legal, but you do you, Jeremy. We're not judging, but we're also kind of judging. Is he okay? Jeremy? 
I really want to know what kind of drugs he's putting into this shit. He sniffed that shit once and he broke a fucking table. I'm over here taking pre-workouts to work out, Jeremy. What kind of fragrance do I need to buy to get a rush like that? I would love to work out with all that energy, but I take a scoop of pre-workout and that doesn't do shit to me. Jeremy, where can, where can I buy one of these? Can I use it to work out? Today I did not jerk off before my video, which I normally do, but I keep my semen to have a maximum impact in my face. I use this technique in your face in certain videos, but if you overdo it, it's too much. So you gotta handle and understand your sexual energy. It gives you ultimate power. It gives you the strength to convince people. What does he mean by he keeps the semen to have a maximum impact on his face if he jerks off his face like gets old what is going on with this dude and his semen is he maybe putting the semen in here is that why he loves it so he's smelling his own semen i have so many questions jeremy what exactly is in here is it your semen or does he put this on his face it has only happened to me like once but like you need to be really horny for it but is he, is he always busting on his face? Oh my, maybe this is pee. Who the, f how do we know that this is not his fucking pee? Pee mixed with his semen. Fuck, sex, asshole, piece of shit. That's how you grab attention with verbal words. <laughs> There's one thing that I learned from this video is uh, to not buy drugs or to not have sex. Instead, buy his fragrances. <laughs> They're all in there. He put his semen, his pee, and it also smells good. I hope so. This video is not sponsored at all. I don't know what's in his fragrances, so don't come for me. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video here and I'm gonna put these back safely where they belong. I wouldn't use them for anything else because I'm not Jeremy. Jeremy, if you're watching, no hate to you, dude. You do you. I'm a nobody. Also, shout out to all my members for supporting this channel. And a special thanks to Carrie for supporting my previous video because it got demonetized. Also, happy birthday to you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>